It was early September, and Helen Bishop, 69 years young, and her cat Lily, was so excited to be able to move in her brand new apartment. Yes, she was so excited. Apartment number 217. <laughs> oh, it was a very wonderful apartment, she was thinking, at least compared to the one that she had just left. Now, it wasn't nothing luxurious about it. It was just a simple, basic, functional apartment for her and her cat, Lily. <laughs> now, as she started unpacking boxes and moving stuff around and getting things, you know, sorted for her apartment, she could hear noises coming from next door. And she could hear voices and someone talking and it sounded like a lady, but it was definitely coming from next door apartment, which would have been 218, apartment number 218. And she was thinking to herself, well, that's nice. I've got some neighbors now. I'll be able to speak to someone and I'll have to definitely go over and introduce myself tomorrow. I'll do that. So on the next day, Helen decided before she'd go visit whoever was living in 218, well, she would just go to the local market. And she was very, very excited about that because she had heard so many good things about this little market that was close by to her apartment. And everything that she had heard about this market was definitely true. It was just absolutely beautiful. While they had all the vegetables and fruits and things that she, she would need, you know, for her home and even food for her cat, Lily. So on the third evening in her brand new apartment, apartment number 217, <laughs> Helen and Lily, her cat, sat down and had started to get ready I have to just watch a little TV show. But right before she turned on the television, she heard a big crashing noise which sounded like it was coming from next door from apartment number 218. Oh, it sounded it sounded like a big old box of dishes had fell to the floor or something like that. And she thought, should I go check and make sure they're okay? But as soon as she thought that, she heard voices next door, a lady's voice, saying, Oh, stupid me! <laughs> so Helen assumed everything was okay. Now even her cat, Lily, was meowing real loud, and Helen was assuring her cat that, Well, I think everything's okay, Lily. I think she's okay. It sounds like it. Helen decided that if she didn't hear any more confusion or any more loud noises from next door that, that she may need to be checking on, that she would just walk over there tomorrow and introduce herself to her neighbor and let her know that if she ever needs anything, or if they need anything, well, just to let Helen know. So, the next morning, as the sun was coming up with a beautiful sunrise, walking in the hallway of the apartment complex where Helen and her cat had moved into, there was a lady by the name of Annie Wilkins that had just moved into the apartment number 218 about a month and a half ago. She was the lady that Helen from apartment number 217 had heard what sounded like dishes drop into the floor from her apartment 218 last night. She was walking the hallway and it just so happened that Annie came upon the landlord Lloyd. Annie greeted Lloyd and said, Hello there, Mr. Landlord. And he replied back, Well, hello there, Miss Annie. How are you? Oh, I'm doing very well, she replied. Thank you. Thank you very much. She began to let him know that he may need to check the apartment for critters, that she saw a rat last night and it scared her so badly that she dropped some dishes on the floor. I'm okay, she replied, but it just scared me. And Lloyd looked at, 
Annie and said, Oh, okay, no problem. We'll take care of it. I'll get an exterminator over there as soon as I can, and I'll text you and let you know when I have one coming to visit. And Annie replied, Oh, that would be great. Oh, by the way, she replies, Who did you rent the apartment 217 to? Landlord Lloyd looked at her with quite a puzzled look and replied, What do you mean? And Annie replies, Oh, well, I heard what sounded like maybe an older lady talking next door, and I've been hearing, I even think I heard a cat meowing. So I just figured that uh, you had rented to someone, and they moved in, and, you know, being that I'm new to my apartment, uh, I just don't know who is in the building yet. That's why I'm asking. And Lloyd, still with a puzzled look, replied, Annie, I hate to say this, but I haven't rented I haven't rented apartment number 217 since the accident. Annie, still looking puzzled, replied, I'm pretty sure I heard talking last night. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure it was a lady talking, and I know I heard a cat. You may want to check the apartment just to make sure, you know, someone hasn't maybe broke the lock and is maybe sleeping in there or maybe even squatting in there. That wouldn't be good at all. Yeah, yeah, we can do that, Landlord Lloyd replied. Actually, I've got the key with me. So Lloyd goes over to the apartment door, number 217, and unlocks the door. And he just slowly opens the door, just in case, and walks into the apartment. Lloyd flips the light on and says, See? Nothing. Not a thing. Annie was following right behind Lloyd and replied, I know I heard something last night, and it definitely it definitely smells like cat pee in here. I heard a lady talking, and I even heard a cat meowing. I know I did. Lloyd, now looking real puzzled and surprised, he replies to Annie, Are you sure you don't know what happened in this apartment? And Annie replies, no, no, Lloyd, I have no idea. Annie, I, I don't want to disturb you with what I'm about to tell you, but I'm very shocked, very shocked that you heard a lady talking, and I'm extremely shocked that you heard a cat meowing. You see, because what happened in this apartment about two months ago was very horrifying to walk in on as a landlord or anyone else as far as that goes. You see, there was an older lady that lived here and her name was uh, Mrs. Helen Bishop. And she had a cat named Lucy, maybe, or Lily, I'm not sure. And for whatever reason, the old lady slipped on something in her kitchen. She fell, hit her head on this hard marble counter she busted her head wide open. Yep. And it knocked her out so bad. Matter of fact, she ended up dying from the fall. She hit the floor so hard that she landed on her cat and killed her cat. Annie, are you sure you don't know what happened in this apartment? And again, Annie looked with a very shocked and puzzled look and said, No, I had no idea. But I'm telling you, Lloyd, I'm telling you, I heard a lady, a lady's voice, and I heard a cat meowing. Well, <laughs> Lloyd looked at her and replied, well, I promise you there's no one in here, and I'm not sure when I'm going to be renting this apartment out again. But if you would, uh, just let me know if you see any more critters around in your apartment. I'll make sure that that exterminator gets over there, over to your apartment very soon. And hopefully, you won't hear any more voices from next door here. 
Lloyd said, maybe it was just some sort of freak sound coming from maybe upstairs or maybe from outside from the streets. Who knows, right? And he replied, okay, I know what I heard, but I will definitely let you know if I see any more critters. And Annie walked away telling landlord Lloyd that she would see him later. And she walked into her apartment, number 218. Two weeks had passed, and Annie Wilkins, from apartment 218, was packing all of her belongings up after just moving into her apartment only a month and a half ago. She decided to get the heck out of that apartment complex. After talking to landlord Lloyd, she continued hearing voices and a cat meowing coming from the apartment next to her, number 217. So she decided that that would be enough for her to break her lease and get the hell out of that her apartment and away from apartment number 217. Thank <laughs> you.